Transformers is an ML architecture created at Google in 2017 that gave birth to the AI's arms race. And as much as an average Silicon Valley CEO might try to hype you about Gen AI, today we are going to expose how stupidly simple it actually is. When you give Transformers data about the entire world history, it starts to talk like humans. No one actually knows how it happens, but apparently it uses complex statistics to predict the probability of the next word in a sequence. And it's definitely not a secretly sentient algorithm plotting world domination. That's why they're called large language models. Models. If your model can understand or produce data in different formats, it's called a multimodal LLM. But despite how large your bit may be, it might not know about your company's confidential database or a niche framework like Quick very well. But in that case, you take that as an external database and convert them into vector embeddings. A wild user query of yours gets translated into these embeddings and searches your knowledge base to extract all relevant context using algos like BM25 or nearest neighbor. This relevant context is now fed to this hungry little freak along with the user's actual query. This architecture is called Retrieval Augmented Generation and this is a horrible way to build an AI system. Your LLM is just a glorified summarizer with no decision making capabilities or ability to interact with the outside world. Suppose you have a rack chatbot for DoorDash and you ask them why your order is late. A rack chatbot would say look here are the most common reasons why your order might be delayed and as you can imagine that's a terrible customer experience. Your chatbot doesn't have access to your personalized data or the ability to reason. AI agents on the other hand can trigger certain functions like search on the web, post a discord message, trade live stocks and autonomously achieve specific goals. This is more like a real human that can perceive live environmental inputs and retain contextual memory to inform future decisions. But in reality you're just torturing this note to give the precise output format you need for the APIs that actually do the thing. Problem here is that any application will likely have hundreds of complicated APIs and it's easy for an LLM to mess up even one of them. That's where a new architectural design called Model Context Protocol comes in. It's a standard protocol announced by Anthropic that we all I'll just agree to adopt because it allows your LLM to connect with modern applications as easily as plugging your pen drive into your laptop. Suddenly your LLM has infinite access to the real world entities. If you ask this to an AI agent, it will understand your request and properly reason out what data it needs but not how. Developers will have to manually integrate every single API the agent might use. An MCP however is just plug and play. First your LLM breaks down the problem into sub problems. Then your agent sends a structured request to the MCP client. Client, and the MCP server for the weather API replies. Now that MCP abstracts away all the API quirks, authentication, format differences, so the LLM gets clean standardized hotel data without caring how it was fetched. Your AI agent continues this reasoning loop until the goal has been achieved. To practice building one of these yourself, download an open source LLM like Llama or Quinn locally using Olama or use Gemini's generous API. Then prompt JPD to write a simple script for any use case, hop around the official documentation and ask help on my Discord server if you get stuck somewhere. Now the data you train your transformer on, the smarter it gets. OpenAI is currently building the biggest data center with 100 billion dollars spent so far. Enough to hydrate the entire continent of Africa six times over on the lower end. And once this LLM reaches superhuman levels of intelligence, it's being referred to as AGI. And AJ will be smarter, faster, and better at any human task. And at that point, no jobs will even require human intervention. And FYI, Harvard researchers have predicted the advent of AJ by 2028. So besides that bit of existential grit, there you have it. You can now sound like an average Silicon Valley CEO without sounding dumb. And thanks for watching, man there.